Hi right, guys, welcome back to Everyday with me, Nick. I'm Nick, and uh, we're back down the woodyard today. I've uh, just got some tools from around the, uh, I mean, a different van now, because uh, my other van's buggered for some reason. It might be oil oil uh, pump or something like that. So we're in the, uh, we're in the transit tipper. And uh, we're gonna work on the kiln a little bit today. I've got Simon here to help me. He's a little bit more savvy with uh, electrics than me. I am completely useless. I know how to wire a plug and I know how to do a socket, but that's about it. I don't like to do anything else. Um, so we've got a fan that needs to be installed on the, uh, on the container. So it's gone dark, it'll come back right. Uh, what we've got is a 24 inch uh, 24 inch fan uh, but it's blowing the wrong way oh, it's blowing the wrong way um, it needs to so I'll show show you what we've got so so there's Simon working on the electrics but the, so this should be uh, mounted on the outside and then this uh, sort of like cowl or sort of ducting wants to be running through so it sucks in here and comes out there so what we need it to do is we need it to, we should have had it the other way so it should have been sucking that way so this actually needs to get mounted on the inside which ain't no big deal but what we're thinking of doing here is or what we're doing is extending these wires and mounting this uh, externally. externally outside the kiln so that this can just mount on the inside flush and then this uh, this box can be on the outside and once it's on the outside it's going to get plugged into uh, an Inkbird plug and play humidity controller and this is this is something that I've took um, I've borrowed not, not I've not borrowed it but I've borrowed the same idea of what Archie uses at Oak Farm Firewood and basically it's you can set your humidity um, values and it turns the fan on and off once it reaches a certain point and then it lowers it down a certain degree well five five percent differential or something like that i think you can set it it's wi-fi as well but obviously i haven't got the um i haven't got any wi-fi down here yet i'm going to get one of those my five things though that the mobile broadband things but it's going to be mounted just around here so i phoned Archie from Oak Farm Firewood up the other day. I'll leave a link to his channel uh, in the description and um, Kindly answered obviously he would but because uh, I, I phoned his works mobile like his business number and I said look, you know big fan watch all your videos um, Can I get some advice you've inspired me to do a kiln build and um, I said where would you say that the the ideal place for the uh, fan was and he says definitely at the bottom at the rear of the container and I said all right okay uh, and I says why is that he says well I feel like the the hot air gets thrown right down the container uh, right down the container and then like the the cooler air the humidity air humid air gets sucked back through I said yeah that makes sense I'll I'll, uh, I'll go with that so we're at the back of the container here and uh, I'm thinking of mounting, try, sorry about this, thinking of mounting the, um, so I'm, I'm actually, it's actually off the floor a little bit, it's off the floor maybe it's 10 inches. Now I'm thinking of mounting the, um, the, the blower in, right, right into the, like so far up, so not halfway, which would be about here. But sort of three quarters away up, not quite, not quite three quarters up. So, and the reason is that is so I can get the hot air up the top, and then the everything else can drop down like the cool, cooler, humid air, and that can get sucked out this big 24-inch fan that we're going to install. Uh, the joy with this is as well, it's got a temperature gauge uh, fitted onto this uh, refrigeration unit, and it's actually saying it's roughly 17 and a half degrees. It's got no sun on it. It's got no heat in there, and it's already at seventeen and a half degrees. So the 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 heater that I'm going to use, it can do plus sixty degrees of whatever ambient temperature is. So if it's already 
um, 17 degrees, that means we should be, we should in theory be able to get to 77 degrees. That's the theory anyway. But I think if we could get to about 60, 65, 70 degrees tops, tops, I think that would be, that would be fantastic. Um, so yes, yeah, Simon's kindly come through to uh, assist with the electrics. I can do the uh, hardware stuff, baking a hole in it and everything else, but he can do the uh, important stuff. Can't you, boss? Yes. yes. So that's what we've got going on. We've had a little shuffle round in here, and uh, obviously we've had we've got all the machinery pretty much in here, which is taking up valuable space. But it's safer than where it is outside, so you just have to work with that. Um, so I'm just going to get you on a tripod eventually when we've got something to do, and then we'll uh, yeah show you what's going on. But I think first of all we'll uh, we'll draw a circle out. Oh, fuck off. Ah, I've left that bloody pencil. We'll draw a circle out um, for where the where the hole's going to go and see if I'm happy with it, and then we'll go from that. So, right, I'll bring you back when I've got something to show you. Thanks for coming back, guys. Right, so what we've got going on here is I've measured where I want it in terms of height. Um, I've got to make a 635 mil hole. Uh, I don't want it at the back, I don't want it in the middle, I kind of want it at this end so that it, I'm hoping that it does uh, like a circle, circulatory sort of draw system. Um, I've hammered a nail in the point of a centre point and now all I've got to do is uh, draw the circle. I would have been better with a marker pen but I didn't have one so it is what it is. And because I'm not in my van which everything's in, which I know I have a, I have a marker pen in there. Um, yeah, I'm just having to use this. So let's take these gloves off. So just all we're going to do is uh, create a loop for me to put me uh, onto the onto this peg, onto this nail, and then. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll measure from there to there where, uh, from on the string and that, that'll give us what we need to know. So if we, uh, it wants to be 317. I've wrapped it round a couple of times. It's, it's got a little bit bigger. <laughs> Should have made the loop really in this with this end. See the trials and tribulations of uh, me doing stuff that I'm not really educated for. All right, so we've got that done. Uh, now these are finished with now, so we can uh, get rid of the lines, and uh, I can take that. Uh, uh, what can I take out? I can take that nail out uh, or I can leave it in, really don't matter. Uh, and I'm going to use a grinder now to uh, grind away the... Because this is an aluminium shell on this, so I'm going to use that. And behind it will be some um, insulation, some like, uh, like foam insulation. So there'll be a bit of that and then there'll be the other skin on the inside. So yeah, let's get to it. <sighs> I'll show you that when we're going there. Okay, cutting time. Right, out the way, girls. Move. I think that what's holding that now is the foam behind it, so I'm gonna go get a bit of a crowbar or something. I thought it was aluminium, but it's actually fiberglass, so you can just tell by the smell. Let's go get that.
Alright, there's that out. So now we just need to uh, remove. Now I should be wearing a mask, but I haven't got one. So I'm just going to have to deal with the uh, insulation stuff. <laughs> Now looking at that, if I put on a bigger grinding disc or use a recip saw, which I might just do, we'll be able to cut that out. I think we'll use a recip saw. Right, so we're going to have to make a slight hole for this, so I'm just going to uh, grind something in here and then use that to uh, make our start. I think what I'm doing here is I'm going through the uh, aluminium uh, sort of like um, cage uh, tie downs here. I think that's what I'm at, what's happening here. Right, we'll, we'll just cut through so. So that's a big bloody hole. <laughs> Just gonna cut, grind this bit away a little bit here. And then, uh, yeah, it's ready for a fitment of a fan. Hopefully she goes in. Thanks dogs. Bloody dogs. Right, so we've done the hole, so we'll just wait for Simon to uh, do his yeah, wiring. Well, yeah, man, we might, might as well just whack it in. And whack it in. See where the wires end up. See where the wires end up, right. Let's get to it. So in traditional fashion, as I do with the camera, I've gone ahead and done things without you being turned on. Sorry, not sorry. Just, just get on with it, don't I? So we've got the, uh, we've got the fan coming through the uh, container. Um, yes, the cowl obviously is a lot bigger um, than the thickness of the container, but I'm not worried about that. That's, uh, that's okay. Also got it uh, pointing down over. So if, if there is any um, moisture builds up, like pools of moisture, because obviously it's going to be quite uh, wet in there, humid, that the uh, the water should just drip out of the cowl that's there. So I can't, I'd show you inside, but there's no point because there's nothing in there. Um, so Simon's just finishing wiring it up there to this uh, box that was originally for it. And then we're just going to run it on an extension lead to test it once she's done we're going to look for the wiring wherever it sh should may be because inside there is lights and i would like to utilize the lights that are in there so i cannot see them so we may need to take the strip off that's inside and see where a wire is um but it definitely should come back to this where there's no exposed wiring anywhere on the back of here. So, we do wonder where they are. And this temperature gauge has slightly increased. We're nearly at uh, 19 degrees now. So it's getting even warmer in there and uh, I've had the door open as well. So that temperature probe's reading something. It does, it does have a little bit of light, uh, sunlight reaching on it, but yeah. So, we're nearly there. So I'll bring you back when we do a test. We'll go inside and see if it can suck our lungs out. <laughs> Turn the fan on. Shut that like a fridge door. You can't open that 
I know he is that. Wow, I need it. I need to help me sell it. Look at it. Look at it. Open it. Such a nice. So I need some louvers on there, don't I? You need some on here. That, that you can. I mean, don't yeah. let, don't let that. <laughs> Obviously, that's pulling in that door there. So if I put louvers up the top. on the like louver vents so maybe like 12 inch louver vents it stalls the band on it it's just sucking it <laughs> <laughs> wow guys <laughs> that sucks air yeah, that does i best uh well turn that off eh? yeah Bloody hell, that's going to suck some moist air out there. <laughs> I shit myself a bit, you know, when I went inside and the door closed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. So, yeah, that's a success in my eyes. So, we've just got the... Um, we'll have to buy some louver vents now, or even just uh, cut some holes in the, in, the, uh, in the door here at the top. Or, uh, yeah, at the top. And... Uh, <sighs> Sorry guys, oh, Christ, that's, that, that was a bit sketchy that like, but it works, it works fantastic, so that's, that's ventilation almost done, apart from the, uh, like I say, the two, um, two louver vents, or two vents, two holes at, at the top, that should suck, um, fresh air in, yeah, if that comes in the top, should be all right i don't think it'll be point i don't think it should be any i don't know if it'll be better at the bottom or at the top i don't really don't know to be honest but that is scary how how, how much that blows how, how much it sucks so wow <laughs> i think it might be overly too powerful really but we've got it it's there so we're just going to check out some uh, the lighting at the top on the top now and we'll uh, get the controller set up for the humidity and then that will be it so right let's uh, let's get on to that one right we found we found the uh, well we found the wire for the uh, for the lights so now what we should have done was do that first because now we have lights so this will be ideal for when it comes to um, filling the kiln with uh, with cages because it's dark in here I mean you can see but it's dark and uh, yeah, so we've got plenty of light now to see what's going on. We've just hooked that up to a 12 volt battery, so that should last ages, ages with just these lights. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned to you before, I'm thinking that the, the fan will be, the, 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 the blower, the, the bit that's going to come in, the ducting as such, that's going to be about this height. So it's not quite halfway, but it's like, so so far up. So I'm five foot, uh, five foot six, and I would say it was about six foot, six, six and a half foot up. So that's where I, I think I want it to come in. Sort of like, let's show you. Sort of like that area. So like, yeah. So it's like the top three quarter area. Uh, I'm, I don't know whether or not to keep that um, that guard up. It might obstruct the floor. A little bit but it's easy taking down it's only nuts and bolts uh, but yeah that's that lights are working it's actually quite bright in it it's all right the fans obviously there that's quite slim profile as well to the wall there's only these these cables here that are a little bit uh, close but keep an eye on them just put a few tie wraps through the guard so it can pin it all to to it and uh, yeah, but I've got to do now. Do now, so do now, do it. So lovely, ready, done. So we're just going to do some tidying up work, uh, make it all look a little bit neater and whatnot. 
I've got to get some holes put in these doors so that it can uh, louver out because that is just ridiculous how uh, much it sucks through here. So they definitely need vents pouring in. Uh, as you can tell, it's warmed right up. It's uh, 20 degrees inside that container, apparently. So yeah, it's, it's warming up. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I know it's not really been like full on production, but at least uh, you're getting the idea of what's happening with the kiln. So I've just got to put lower low vents on here, or some vents. I, I might just cut holes open in there at the moment, uh, and then then turn the fan on and just see if it can, if the uh, motor of the fan bogs down enough. If it bogs down too much, then we know it's it's no good. So I think I might do that, and then that's that. Right, thanks guys. We'll see y'all on the next video. Bye for now.